The definition of clarity in polyethylene film can often be very subjective. To remove the subjectivity, ASTM method D1003 measures the amount of light which is allowed to pass through a wall of plastic. The higher the number, the less amount of light is allowed to go through. The lower the number, the greater the amount of light goes through. For example, a polyethylene film with a haze rating of 5 will allow 95% of the light to pass through. There are practical considerations which are often overlooked and that's what we're going to talk about and that is called contact clarity. This is considered a very hazy film. It's used for packaging magazines for bulk mail. You can see that it's difficult to see through it. When we actually put the product into the bag, the contact clarity is pretty good. Making a good presentation at point of sale is of course very important. This is an example of the same product in two different put-ups. The bag obviously has a higher haze than the thermoform tray, but the bag does not have fewer sales because of the haze of the film. With all the attention that's paid to haze, it's interesting to note that oftentimes the high clarity film is printed with every bit of 80 to 90 percent ink. In my opinion, this is a great low haze, high gloss, sharp looking presentation for retail. While this is important, sometimes practical considerations get overlooked. Giving up a few points on haze can often result in much better machinability on the packaging line and will not affect any point of sale decision by the consumer.